Isaac, welcome back from New Zealand. I see you brought the lovely weather with you. <laughs> yeah, good to be back. Uh, hopefully this doesn't continue too long, you know, just getting into winter, so uh, it's going to be tough. Tell me, what was it like out there? Uh, it was good. It was one of the best uh, experiences in my rugby career, you know. Um, obviously, from my own point of view, it would have been nice to get more time and it would have been nice to stay out there that extra, extra couple of weeks for the semis and stuff like that to, to have progressed. But um, no, it's, it's good being back and uh, really looking forward to, um, to getting back in the Leinster jersey. I'm looking ahead to this game now against Edinburgh at Murrayfield on Friday. It's going to be a tricky one. Yeah, definitely. You know, um, they've got a lot of boys returning as well, um, and uh, they like to throw the ball about. And uh, you know, so we've got uh, the guys have been going really well the last few weeks. And uh, whoever comes in this week, you're going to have to make the transition as smooth as possible, and uh, hopefully to continue the uh, Leinster's good form. The way conditions are today, there's a very good chance the conditions could play a key role in the match on Friday because if it's wet out there, a slippy ball, you know, wet underfoot, that kind of stuff. Yeah, definitely. I think. From, uh, from what I know of the weather, I think it's supposed to clear by, by then, but um, obviously it's, you've got to take it as it comes and be prepared for, um, for scenarios. So, um, But uh, you know we've got a, a few things put in place at training in the next few days and uh, hopefully they'll come good. Where do you see the game being won and lost then? What are their key strengths, I suppose, and how can Leinster nullify them? Yeah, well, they've got um, obviously some good ball players, you know, they like to run the ball, they're quite unpredictable sometimes and, and throw it about and, uh, and, and um, you know, with big wingers like Vista and stuff like that. And they've got internationals spread out throughout, throughout the team, you know, so. Um, you know, if we can shut down, shut down the broken face play, I think we've got a good chance. And obviously, it all starts at set piece. Um, we want to give ourselves some good front foot ball, and um, we've got attacking weapons that could do that. Did you get a chance to monitor any of the progress the lads, the young lads, were doing here at home when you were away at the World Cup? Yeah, keep in touch with a few of them, and uh, obviously uh, read reports and stuff. There wasn't a lot of uh, coverage on the TV. Uh, I think only a couple of matches were televised, so um, we got limited uh, video highlights, I guess. But uh, we keep in touch with all the what the goings on, and they, they um, after a tough start, they, you know performed really well to get us right back in, the, in a really good uh, position on the league so um, like I said it's, uh, it's all about the transition now guys coming back have to fight for their positions and um, we've really got to make the most of it.